Household Moose was inspired by a piece by Darius Mio uh, called The Household Muse, which is right here. It's a suite of piano pieces that I used to play and um, enjoyed playing and, and was influenced by. Um, I studied in a class of Mio's at, at uh, Aspen one summer, so I knew him personally, but uh, I had already played the household muse before that. It's subtitled Sketches from the Summer of 1956. So that's when I was uh, 21, I guess. And, um, and my brother did these delightful drawings uh, for the published version of the piece. Um, the Mio piece, the titles are like uh, The Awakening, Household Cares, Poetry, Cooking, Flowers in the House, Laundry, Music Together, The Son Who Paints, The Cat, Fortune Telling, Nursing the Sick, Sweetness of the Evenings, Reading at Night. So the household moose has a picture of a moose on the cover eating some flowers, uh, drawn by my brother David. And this doesn't have as many movements as the Mio does because I... Uh, I don't remember how many movements my piece had to start with, but I did, did chuck some of them. I just kept my favorites. Uh, and the titles are, are like a takeoff on, on, on the Mio. Invocation of the Moose is just an introduction. based on a theme from Clifford Earle's childhood. Clifford Earle was one of my best friends in college, and he had written uh, this little theme. I don't even know if it was part of a, an extended piano piece or just the theme itself. I can't remember. But anyway, I used the theme and put it in canon uh, with itself. Um, It sort of has a Mio-ish quality, even though Clifford Earl wrote it. Belgian Fille Française <coughs> was when we were taking a trip, when my family was taking a trip in Italy in the summer. We were in the car and the car in front of us was uh, full of students. And uh, there was this, uh, they were French students. Uh, and there was this uh, lovely girl who, at one of the windows of the bus, took out a, uh, a flower that she had picked and sent it through the air to, to, uh, to our car. I like to think we caught it. I can't really remember. Uh, but, um, but this piece is in remembrance of that, a Belgian mm -hmm. Fille Francaise.
reminiscent of Ricky. Ricky was our dog, and we used to call him by whistling. Um, I'm not going to whistle it, but dee do dee do dee do. That's what we used to call Ricky with. So that's the theme of this little piece. It's on my body, it's a cogwheel train, and this uh, must have been in Switzerland. Where uh, We traveled, this is me and my parents and, and my brother for some of it. And uh, they've got these cogwheel trains that go through the mountains in Switzerland. Um, and so this Peace evokes that. And this one called Le Campane and the Bells was interesting in that it it doesn't really have a theme in the traditional sense. I really just picked a bunch of pitches. Bells was one of my favorite parts about spending the summers in Rome. I just loved the bells. All the churches had bells. And unlike in, around Fargo, where you had carillons that played tunes, and at Christmas time they'd play Christmas carols and stuff on the bells. These were, uh, these didn't play recognizable tunes. They just played patterns. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so to, I got interested in the idea of a piece in which you had these. notes repeating in different different lengths mm -hmm. so that they produce different patterns. Um, so there's no melody in the traditional sense, but uh, just these, uh, the, the score has the towns that are referred to, the different bells. The pitches of the bells are based on towns that we could hear Venice, Vienna. We'd taken a trip that summer, I guess, with my parents. St. Nicholas, Salzburg, Rome, and Florence.
Gratitude to the Moose was a reference to the end of the Mio suite, which says, which is called, I think, Gratitude to the Muse. Yep, Gratitude to the Muse. And it ends with a musical reference uh, to the Mio. I would say that in general, some of the ones, particularly the, uh, the third, the third sounds quite Mio-ish, but the others I was not, I didn't make a point of sounding as much like Mio as possible, but just uh, the inspiration was this suite of piano pieces.